everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to bake Asian style blackberry ginger chicken wings. Now I have about three pounds of chicken wings here. I got the drummies and flats and they're already separated. If they're not separated for you, you can keep them together if you want to. That's kind of interesting, but you can separate them easily right between the V pop them open and then finish slicing through. So this is about three pounds. And I'm going to get together a little sauce that I'm gonna kind of uh, coat them in before I start baking. I have my oven preheating to 340 degrees. I'm gonna do it on a slightly lower temperature uh, because I don't want this to burn on the outside, okay? Here we go. We're gonna use about two tablespoons of a flavorless oil. Today I'm using um, Actually, I'm using peanut oil. It's relatively flavorless. If you want to use canola, you can. If you want to use sunflower, you can. Grapeseed would work fine too. Now, I'm going to add just about a half of a teaspoon of dry ground mustard to this. I'm going to add a good teaspoon of sriracha sauce. Now, that's like a chili paste kind of sauce. If you don't have that, just use some hot sauce if you want to. I'm going to use some soy sauce, at least a teaspoon. I'm going to use just a few drops of sesame oil. Typically you don't cook with sesame oil, I just want a little tiny bit of flavor from that. You can always finish it off at the end with a couple more drops of it with your chicken wings, but I'm not going to do that. I'm also going to add this amazing blackberry ginger balsamic vinegar. Now this is from Napa Valley Vinegar Company and you can find it online at winecountrykitchens.com. They have a whole line of these really great fruity vinegars and this is high quality vinegar from Modena balsamic and it's mixed and combined with a blackberry and ginger puree. Really, really amazing. Now I know that balsamic isn't typically an Asian style ingredient. That's why I'm calling it Asian style because the rest of this is Asian. Now think about when you have um, used plum sauce or sweet and sour sauce. It's a little bit fruity and it goes really lovely with uh, your meat, your Asian meat. So that's what we're so gonna do. I'm, I've added about a teaspoon and a half of this. Oh, it's so flavorful. Very fruity, tastes very blackberry ginger-esque, okay? I'm also gonna grate up some fresh ginger. I'm looking for maybe a tablespoon's worth. Now, if you don't have fresh ginger, you can always use the dry ground. I would use maybe a teaspoon. Okay, so I'm going to add some freshly ground pepper to this. And I'm just going to kind of mix this up with a fork, just to combine it. Now, if you wanted to add some green herbs like parsley to this, you could. You could also add cilantro to this. You could even add chives and or green onions, and that would be lovely too. Also, this could double as a dipping sauce. So if you didn't want to coat your wings in this to, to bake them, you could always just use this as your dipping sauce. You want to taste one? Mm, sure. Mmm. I love this. Yeah? You like mm -hmm. that? Let me Woo! taste it. Got a little kick. Mm -hmm. It's got the ginger and a little bit of mustard. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is all mixed up and I'm just going to pour that on my wings. You only need a little bit. You don't need to completely just waterlog them. You just want them a little bit coated. This is a nice potent sort of a marinade. And I'm just gonna use my hands to work that in. We like to bake our wings here mostly because it's so much healthier than deep frying them and they also get nice and crunchy, and it's all good. All right, make sure that it's all coated, everything's coated perfectly, that was just enough of this stuff. Okay, I have prepared two baking mats with silicone sheets on them, or you can use parchment, but I suggest using something that's non-stick. And I'm going to just even these out on both of these, and we're just gonna lay them flat. I like to try and put the fattier side up, especially on the uh, flats, and that's just gonna keep everything moist and beautiful. Okay, I have two trays of them into the oven. They're gonna go for roughly 40, 45 minutes. If it's down to 340, it might take a little bit longer and that's okay with me, but I'm gonna check them. I'm gonna flip them halfway through around 25 minutes, okay? Into the oven they go. Oh boy, these smell absolutely heavenly. Don't they, Mom? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a lovely smell. Now, if you guys like garlic, you can add a clove of garlic, finely minced to the, at the beginning with that sauce that I uh, coated them in. Uh, we don't always eat garlic over here, so I didn't add them tonight. I'm trying to feed the masses and keep everyone happy. So flip those guys over, we're about 25 minutes in, and I'm gonna finish these guys up 
for another probably 25 minutes, I would say. That's what they look like. So, in they go. Oh, they smell so good. Man, I can't wait to eat. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'll show you this pan. They're starting to brown up nicely. It's exactly what we want. Yeah. Back into the oven, about another 25 minutes. Oh, these look phenomenal. They're exactly the way I want them. They're nice and crispy, but they still have a little bit of a sticky, gooey mess on the outside that's gonna be really delicious. Mom, are you gonna try one of these? Oh, sure. You have to ask them twice. <laughs> oh boy, and we have two trays, so we can eat up tonight. I'm serving this alongside some rice, but you could serve it along anything. You could use these as an appetizer, or you could serve them for dinner. These look awesome. Let's get a plate. Now, again, you could create a sauce to serve these with um, alongside, it's very similar to what we had there uh, at the beginning that we coated them in, or you can add a little bit of honey to that, or you could just do soy sauce with green onions in even. Really nice. So let's try one of these, Mom. Look at that sticky mess. Woo-wee. Look at that wing. It's delicious. It's exactly what you're looking for. It's delicious. Mmm, they're crispy, but they still have a little bit of a sticky sauce on the outside. They are perfect. Really good. Really hot. Mmm. <laughs> that sauce, really uh, concentrated flavor. Mmm. The ginger, you can taste the blackberry. Mmm. Mm. The soy sauce perfectly salted them. Mmm. That's good. It's a good win. And they're crispy. Don't be afraid of baking wings. I prepare them baked. Mm-hmm. Me too. Perfectly cooked through. Oh, beautiful. Moist and tender. Mm. Full of flavor. Now, if you wanted to, you could always marinate those wings for overnight even mm -hmm. before you threw them in here with that sauce. That would have been very nice too. But hey, when you're on, you're just winging it and you're on the fly. <laughs> Winging it? This works per yeah, when you're winging it and you're on the fly. Works perfect. I want another one. Want one? Jeremy? Okay. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh man, that's good too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like them too. Mmm. Mmm. The skin's awesome. <laughs> what do you taste, Mom? Mm. Oh, I can taste every. I can taste mm. the um, ginger mm -hmm. first, blackberry, definitely. Mm. So good. Mm. Oh, God. But I wouldn't necessarily mm. say that's balsamic. No. It has a no. beautiful you, Asian you, flair. You get, the, you get the flavor though. Mm hmm. Sesame. Mm. That fresh ginger did really well. Mm. I like these. Mm. So when you initially taste your sauce, don't be scared, even if it's a little potent. It needs to be. It's going to yeah. cook out. You might find it, it it's kind of um, hot. Hot and spicy. Yeah. But when it. Uh, cooks and the flavors go into the meat, all of a sudden that uh, really mellows That's out. That's right, and they all balance each other. Uh -huh. You got this little bit of sweetness from this balsamic, it's like a syrup, it's beautiful. Uh, you've got that soy sauce, you've got just a hint of sesame, the ginger, the fresh ginger in there is really nice. Mmm, beautiful. And they browned up beautifully, so they're very appealing, appetizing. Love them, that's mm. how you do it. You like that, Mom? Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> so there's much so, more to balsamic than you probably ever even knew. This is the Napa Valley uh, Blackberry Ginger Balsamic Vinegar, and it's from Wine Country Kitchens. Check them out online at winecountrykitchens.com. You're going to love this one and all of their beautiful flavors. Tray citrus and pomegranate white. You've got Bordeaux cherry. You've got delicious Vanilla flavors. Fig. Vanilla fig. You've got, uh, I even have another one here. The tray citrus, yeah, Bordeaux cherry and the barrel aged balsamic. They're really, really delicious. Mm -hmm. Strawberry even. Mm -hmm. But I thought the blackberry ginger would go beautifully with an Asian style meal. So that's yeah. how you do it. That's how you bake Asian blackberry ginger chicken wings. You're gonna love it. Try it. What a lovely meal. That that's makes. right. So happy Friday. Mm -hmm. It's a good meal for a mm -hmm. Friday. Serving it alongside mm -hmm. some rice and some nice uh, fresh veggies. All mm -hmm. as well. That's it. 
Check out Mom's website at IngridTurnerToday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly, YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly, and you can find my channel on Roku, Cooking with Kimberly. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.